climate change is one of the most severe challenges facing our planet right now. From rising sea levels to an increase in droughts and weather-related incidents, it is damaging our planet and impacting the livelihood of billions of people across the globe. Still, over $900 billion is invested in fossil fuels by energy companies every year around the world, who have been criticized for impeding efforts to transition to more sustainable methods of production. As an international power and heat utility company, Fordham Corporation is at the forefront of the debate about how we can tackle climate change. Climate change is obviously the biggest challenge that the world is facing. Uh, our goal needs to be carbon neutrality for the entire world by 2050. And the high-level answer is a massive electrification of our society. We need to electrify heating, we need to electrify transportation, we need to electrify significant industrial processes such as steel production and cement production. And of course, on top of this, we need to decarbonize the electricity production itself. We are first of all actively influencing the decision makers such as uh, European Union, that they would significantly increase the ambition level in their climate policy. On our operational side, we are investing a lot in new technologies such as recycling and fractioning of waste. We are investing in fractioning of biomass to create materials that could replace crude oil, for example, in chemicals and plastics or in fibers. And we are also investing a lot in new digital innovations, for example, for consumers and electric vehicle users. Because of burning fossil fuels, the carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere is already today too high, and the world is one degree warmer than it was about 100 years ago. If this continues, we are potentially looking at three to four degree warming by the end of the century, and that would be a catastrophe for our children and grandchildren. The cost of wind and solar power has dropped dramatically in recent years, making them a mainstream option for energy companies. The solar and wind is something which is changing globally the whole energy sector. In addition to that, there is of course digitalization. I see that in my daily work, how startups are building new exciting business opportunities, mainly because of digital technologies. At the moment, we are developing a project where wireless charging technologies are tested, how they work in Nordic environment, meaning that our customer can simply park their car and the car is being charged automatically without any cables. In my opinion, all large corporations should be building businesses together with startups because these companies can provide such an interest in digital technologies. There is a lot to learn for a traditional companies. However, even as wind and solar have become ever more viable, we also need power when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine. So what role do more conventional, CO2-free energy sources play in enabling more sustainable energy practices? I think we need all CO2-free production forms to meet our climate target. And the nuclear is CO2-free and also very reliable production form. Fortum is investing and taking care of its CO2-free production form, investing in renewables. And I think that also in the transition period, we need the low-carbon gas-fired power because it's flexible and gives also time to the renewables to grow in the systems. The effects of climate change can no longer be ignored and energy companies like Fordham need to take the lead, acknowledging this reality and develop smarter solutions for the future of our planet. It is going to be fairly different from that of today's. Uh, there will be much more solar and wind in the system, but obviously the challenge of solar and wind is that production changes with the weather all the time, which means that we need to learn to store electricity in new ways. Currently, the best ways to store electricity are in hydro reservoirs, which will continue to be important also in the future, but we will need new ways uh, as well. Battery technology is developing, but it's extremely unlikely that batteries could ever be a solution for long-term industrial scale seasonal storage. And that's why new solutions like uh, hydrogen produced with excess electricity through electrolysis and potentially synthetic methane 
that is produced from hydrogen and CO2 could be a solution for a long-term storage. And that synthetic gas could then also be used as fuel that replaces fossil fuels in certain industrial processes. I really share the Ford Tools vision for the cleaner world. I would like that, that my children and grandchildren could live in the Nordics where we have all the different seasons. So they could ski in the winter, they could swim in the lakes in the summer and have a fresh air.